Are you excited about making a film with me? I hope that I'll rise to the occasion. There comes a time when you have to think about your story. Fine. We can talk about anything. You're grown up. It's weird when we go back to our old flat because we ignore the piano. Why don't you ever play it anymore? It hurts me if I start playing and, and the sound is not the same. I like coming home. <laughs> nice to have you back. I'm oh. back. Do you want to say hello to her? My grandmother, Yelena. She gave it to me maybe a year before she died. And it's actually the thing that went, um, the only thing that I took from home uh, when we left Sarajevo. So it had a, such a journey. Soon it's going to be 30 years since we landed. Out of those 30 years, I feel like 10 years were just like a foggy memory of something that um, I don't really want to remember that much. But now you have asked me to compose some music about our experience. I haven't really composed anything since we left Sarajevo. Have you, what's this? <laughs> I'd, I was rummaging through stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is me practicing at the age of seven, I guess. I did practice every day and I was diligent. This is my um, diploma concert. All my friends came. When you were supposed to be born, I said to everyone, I want to name my daughter. Alexandra, after my piano professor at the academy. And now, little babies came <laughs> and started climbing on the piano and banging and playing and dancing around it and hiding under. Do you think you want to play it again? I do, yes, because it was my best friend. The moment you touched it, kind of memories start pouring. What is it? Show us. Show, us. Tourist, um, Show me. It's a tourist map. <laughs> oh, Yugoslavia. Here we are. There are no borders, just the outside borders of Yugoslavia. And that's where you were born, Sarajevo. But your family from all over. Marshal Tito, he became a president of Yugoslavia. The, the slogan, Brotherhood and Unity, was such a popular thing. Even our road was called Brotherhood and Unity. When Tito died, the situation became unstable. Then the wars gradually started happening in Bosnia. In Bosnia, it was really, really bloody. And I hate to say this, but um, all our dreams about Brotherhood and Unity were started to col collapse. Pretty much spent six months in the flat. I had to move your beds towards the central part of the flat. At night, you could just watch bullets flying from one side to another. I thought I was brave and it was fine. I had to be calm because of you too. But I remember shaking like never before. Then the decision was, um, you know, leave as soon as you can. Grandfather drove us to the airport and there were already some tanks, um, some checkpoints, and there were so many people. I remember he had to pass your brother over the, you know, heads, and <laughs> I was thinking, what if I'd lose, lose my baby? It was a last flight from Sarajevo. It was so overloaded. I wasn't even sure if we would manage to take off. 
as it was taking off and I was watching Sally, I, I was thinking, oh, I just wanted to return back and land again. Forget all this. But also a feeling of, okay, my children are going to be somewhere safe now. Who did you say goodbye to at the airport? Wanted. He was a pediatric surgeon. Most of the time he was actually treating wounded children and it was a huge trauma for him. Sometimes we couldn't talk to them for months. He was writing how he was imagining you two growing up and he was thinking how lovely it is that you are not there anymore. The first year, I think I was in denial. I was thinking, OK, this is just a couple of months and we are going back. And then only second year, I realised that I need to make an effort. Do you ever think about what your piano career could have been if we didn't have to leave? Many of my peers became famous musicians, and I'm really proud. We don't talk about how we feel that often, do we? I feel like I've felt more detached, maybe. When? I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, orbiting away a bit. Even though I, I speak the language less. Mm. So maybe, maybe we should speak our language. No. <laughs> and not talk about painful things. So talk about nice things. Jednog dana ćemo se zadovoljstvom gledati ovaj film. Zatvorit će se krug. Počela sam pomalo da komponim. Htjela sam da imam kao neke dijelove kompozicije koji će biti Sjetni tužnjo. Onda možda malo tog nekog konačno dizanja tog tereta sa ramena kad ti uspiješ u tom svom drugom životu. Tell the story of when the men brought the piano up to the flat. <laughs> that was when I was a child, and and it seemed impossible to to have such a monster of an instrument brought onto the eighth floor. <laughs> so so they had to take the legs off and take it like a huge harp. They were a gypsy family, specialists for removals. They were so, so strong. And they had some belts and on every floor there would be like a break and they would have a couple of beers and they would carry on. They were taking turns. So when they finally brought here, I remember it was in the middle of the room and they put the legs as well and they said, now you can play. And I said, what shall I play? And they said, Shaban, of course. <laughs> <laughs> a famous <laughs> musician, gypsy musician.
Jilem, jilem, un gone dromeia. I hope it can be fixed and I can play my piano again. We spent so much time on this balcony when you were little. Because you slept really well outdoors. <laughs> And it's not so nice to see all the hills and the woods. Yeah. And still some scars from... Yes. Remember when we saw this building on fire on TV? Mm -hmm. We watched the BBC News. Yeah. That was so painful. And that's the last photo of us before we left. We were desperate to go for a walk and nobody was walking. So we used to sort of make huge circles around the block and you would resist. No, we want more. And then during the night, the shooting would start. Mm. When Baka Elma died, this was like an article from the newspaper. And it was my grandmother, your great grandmother, Yelena captured by um, Nazis. Gone Forever is teacher Jelena Janch, who, with her two daughters, was taken to a concentration camp in Jasnowitz. By True. sheer chance and luck, she was freed. So she had to flee her home. Who would have thought that another generation had to flee their home? 50 years later. So she passed away when you were one and a half. You had fun with her. <laughs> Look how happy she is here. <laughs> no. I mean, you would never tell what she has been through. As soon as, as I step in, I had the same feeling coming back to me, a slight anticipation and anxiety, but actually if it's channeled properly, then it makes you kind of motivated and, and makes you want to perform really well. The hall was damaged during the war. There was a grenade. So here I am. I'm imagining now lots of, uh, friends in the audience, and, and I would bow and perform on, on this lovely piano, Steinway. So this is bringing me loads of happy memories. And I feel younger now. Ja opet imam tremu kao kad sam bila mlada. Da, pa dobra. Oču onda kompletnu kompoziciju i da otviram svom klaviru, znaš. A ovo mi je u stvari puno psihički pomoglo i... Pa sigurno. I natjeralo me da, znaš, da se fokusiram na nešto drugo, a ne samo na nostalgiju. I na tužno. I na tužno, jesu. Zamišljat ću da su sva moja raja tu, znaš. Pa da, u stvari, svirat ćeš svojima. Da. 
Nadam se da ću moći da ocviram svoju kompoziciju na svom klaviru. Pa ovo će biti prvi put nakon 30 godina da se klavir malo naštima. Kako vam se u stanju žice? Imamo problem ovdje i sa čivijama koje su dotrejali. Mi možemo malo da ga naštimamo. Čisto da možete vi malo prosvirati za svoju dušu. Ja sam u ovom stanu bila od svoje 12. godine. A za vrijeme rata komšije su se ponule da ga čuvaju. Međutim su onda htjeli da uzmu u sve sebi. Tako da kad sam došla prvi put, dočekao me ledeni izraz lica i rečeno mi je da nemam pravo ni na što ovdje. Tvoj tata i ja smo se borili godinama da ga vratimo nazad. Oni su isto morali da se vrati u svoj prvobetni stan. Spakovali sve što su mogli da spakuju i naravno klavir nisu mogli da spakuju. On ima svoju jednu istoriju. Drago mi je da ste ga zatekli u vašem stanu. Svalite. I feel like I made a huge, um, like a life circle. <laughs> Like I come home. Thank you. The lights will come on now, as soon as the sun disappears. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> do you remember the last time we were up here? I do. With Granny and Grandad. Hopefully they are watching us. <laughs> <laughs> they are, for sure. And looking after us still. We're definitely coming next year. And there'll be more of us. <laughs> are you going to be a grandma? A proud one. <laughs>